this video I'm going to show you how to get started with splitting a piece of carbide. And what I have here is a piece of 3 16 carbide blank. It's actually a busted off end mill, but you know you can save these and make little cutters out of them. And that's what we're going to do. And the first thing we need to do, even though I've said to buy these pre-split, save your ones you break once in a while and you've got a nice uh, inch or so of carbide here that you can use. So anytime you're going to grind a single up cutter, the first thing you need to do is find the right collet for it. And in this case we have a 3 16 call it. This is an old one, so the lettering's gone, but you know, it should just kind of slide in there. It's a little loose because it's not tightened down yet. And you place the call it inside and, and you turn it until this keyway lines up with the key inside. And it's pretty simple. It'll just fall right in. Then you've got a knob on the other end that you're going to snug that up a little bit. Put your carbide blank in. Let it stick out. A good uh, three quarters of an inch would be about right. So you have room to work. And then the big purpose of this video, okay, you've seen it holding there, we're tight. Now, you've got this indexing pin here. If you put it in the position on the left, it lets it turn 180 degrees. And I'll show you what that's for on the, on the, pre, uh, on the next video. The position in the second and the center locks it. You can't turn it. And if you put it all the way to the right, it lets it spin all the way around. And as a sidebar note, if you just pull this out and let it rest on any of the uh, in between any of the positions, it'll also let it just spin. There's uh, I don't think there's any uh, bearings in here. Uh, for those of you who think, oh, this would be a great way to uh, perhaps uh, use as a whirly jig once in a while. It's okay. They do sell a little handle that fits on here so you can crank this, but there's no bearings in there, so it's 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 a, a little bit of a friction slide there, which is fine for grinding cutters, not so great for um, sometimes circle grinding things, okay? So for our purposes now, we've got a uh, carbide blank mounted, and we want to split this thing in half, okay? And you can see there's my wheel right there, and I'm glad it's not turned on because I just put my finger on it. And then what we want to do to split a cutter is put it in the center position. We're locked, okay? And just to make sure, see it's spinning now. And if we just move this over until this pin slides in the center hole and falls in, we're locked. Then we will start to push it up. You can see I'm pushing up against the wheel. And there is a knob to my left, which I will show you as we move along that's going to uh, index this cutter back and forth until we split it in half, okay? So that is the first step in placing a piece of carbide blank or high speed into your collet, tightening it down, and picking out the right indexing slot. And to split a cutter, you want to be on the center slot, okay? And that'll lock it in place and you don't want your cutter moving and spinning while you're trying to split it in half okay so that's one video to show you how to mount your blanks into a collet